Mom? 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 Never here. this to us, and don't you ever forget that. She did this to us! And I don't ever want to hear you say her name to me again. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I said, do you understand me? Jesse. You're a good boy, okay? I'm sorry. You're a good boy, we're gonna be okay. All right, don't be scared, we'll be fine. We're gonna be okay. You're a good boy. The first time I spoke to Jesse Peterson was in the second grade. It was parent career week. When parent week was over, I noticed everyone had at least one parent come to speak, except for Jesse Peterson. I asked him why neither of his parents came. You know, the little shit ignored me at first, but I pressed for an answer. It's just what I do. And when he finally gave in, he said, because my dad can't walk real good, and my mom is dead. That was the first of hundreds of conversations between us. And most came easy, as some a little harder, and one would change my life forever. Morning, Phyllis. It's Mom, Sarah. Mom, okay? Okay, Mom. Grab some breakfast before you go screeching out of here. I can't, I'm already running late. Well, at least grab a breakfast bar then. Mm, okay. You start packing yet? Are you working on breaking a record? What do you mean? How many times in one week can you ask that question? I refuse to wait for you to finish packing when we're already supposed to be heading for the airport. You taught me to take care of myself, Mom. And we have over a week and it takes, what, 20 minutes to pack? 
Ah, but it takes more than 20 minutes to pack the right things. The right things take thought. Oh, so you can impress an oversized rodent. Oh, that's just a little side trip. I'm going down there on business. <laughs> I think the business part is a side trip. Well, in any case, it's not just any oversized rodent, Sarah. It's the big M.M. <laughs> okay, Mom, you're officially a dork. Well, if I'm a dork, then you're a half dork. Oh, thank you. I just don't want you running late meeting your dad in New York after you drop me at the airport. I gotta go. And stop worrying. I won't be late. Well, since I'm off today, you can take the car. Uh, I can't drive Jesse yet. Plus, I think he enjoys our morning rides to school. Love you. Uh-huh. You too. I'm a little late. Why should today be any different? I'm not always late. Okay, so like 90% of the time, but not always. You know it rained last night. I know. So why water the plants? Just don't want to get thirsty. So my mom's a dork and you're a whack. Opinion? Fact. Let's go. <laughs> I'll race ya. Oh, yeah? So now, she's adding a stop in the Everglades, too. Sounds like you're jealous. <laughs> what? Of what? Seeing alligators in their natural habitat? Of, you know, not having three sturdy rows of fence between us? Or maybe I just have this weird obsession with keeping all my limbs intact. I guess Phyllis doesn't have the same obsession I do. It's mom to you. <laughs> See you then. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Sorry, Peterson. I didn't see you there. Such an asshole, Chase. Hey, sorry I'm so late. I had to take that makeup quiz in Mr. McCormick's class. Mm -hmm. Jesus, what happened to your head? Walked into a locker. Walked into it? Yeah. You're full of shit. What's your theory then? You obviously have one. Well, my guess is Chase or one of his minions had something to do with it. Nice guess, Sherlock. Chase it was. You know, you really need to teach that kid a lesson. And you need to stop saving half your lunch for your dad. You think I want to weigh more than you do on my life? Anything else? Seems like you got a whole list for me today. Um, well, do you think your dad should stop wasting his money on booze so his son could eat a proper meal every once in a while? You call this a proper meal? Don't worry about it, okay? I'm just trying to maintain my figure. A what? A bamboo stick? <laughs> I'm actually hopeful that the kibbles stay unrefrigerated long enough that he dies from food poisoning one day. Hmm. Nice. Don't belittle a man's dream, Sarah. I'll see you after school. Yeah. Library? As always.
Youch, Peterson. It's quite a bruise you got there. What happened? Drop dead, Chase. Drop dead, Chase. <laughs> Man, Peterson, can't you ever speak for yourself? Can't I you can just leave just... us alone? Don't you and your little spoiled cheering section have some credit card bills to rack up? Well, I'm just showing you guys my new wheels. It's nice, huh, Jesse? It's a shame you'll never get your hands on one of these, though. <laughs> and I'm just wondering how your parents had to pay off so you could get a driver's license. Can we just go now? You need to lighten up, Sarah. I'm so sick of that jerk. Yeah, thanks for coming to my rescue. Hey. What's that supposed to mean? Just think I could speak up for myself every once in a while. I have a mouth. It might not eat much, but I'm pretty sure it can talk. You never speak up for yourself. Because I never have the chance to when you're around. Well, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way. I thought I was helping. You know, if you speak up for yourself, then why don't you say something when Chase beats the shit out of you then? What? You know I've tried. Chase? Chase Gibbons? No, you must be mistaken, Mr. Peterson. Chase would never do such a thing. It must be nice having complete immunity when your parents are the town Rockefellers. And the thing is, that cracks me up the most, they know he's a piece of shit, so they disgust me just as much as he does. I still can't get a job since Chase spread rumors around town that I stole from his dad's stores. Can't wait till I'm gone. I'm sorry. No, I... no, it's my mouth. I know it rivals the Grand Canyon sometimes. So, when are you leaving for New York, exactly? Not soon enough. Wow. You're actually excited you go on a trip with your dad? <laughs> oh, not the trip so much as the end of school. If I had to take this course load for another month, I swear I'd welcome a lobotomy. <laughs> Plus, he's taking me on a trip that doesn't include tents and mosquitoes. You know, Pops is bringing for a motel room this time. Ooh. Yeah, I know, it might not be plush carpets and room service, but I'll take the basics of a bed any day. Why do you sit on the floor so much when you draw? No, I think I just kind of like this vantage point. Yeah, but why? I guess uh, it's kind of like being a little kid again. Everything was so mysterious when I was three feet tall. I remember going to places like the bank, the post office, wishing that I could see what was going on over the counters. It was so mysterious. <laughs> but then when I got taller, I realized that there are no big mysteries and everything in life's just a big bore now. You're 16. I mean, you make it sound like life's over already. Isn't it? I don't think so. Trust me, it is. For me, at least. What's that supposed to mean? OK, let's go. It's not even close yet. Yeah, well, I want to be home before it is. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to take off. I mean, you are serious what, but it comes to these thunderstorms. It's just. What? God bowling and enlightening is just God taking pictures of the earth? Uh, no. Actually, lightning is a huge discharge of electricity of about 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit and kills 100 people every year and injures another 500. So don't call me a wimp and tell me it's nothing to be afraid of. Hey, fair enough. You're still the only person I know who checks a Doppler radar before taking a shower, weirdo. Well, how many people do you really know? Ouch. Hey, do you want to hit the pond tomorrow? I kind of want to draw the sunrise there. Uh, what time? 6.30. 6.30? It's Saturday. Oh, that's right. My fault. Here, I'll give Mother Nature a call and see what she can do about pushing uh... the sunrise back a couple hours, because my buddy Sarah needs her beauty sleep. OK, 6.30. OK, I'll meet you there. Please don't be late. Ah, uh, don't worry.
Come on down. Oh, fine. That's lucky this is empty. This would have been a real tragedy. Just let me help you up, all right? I said I'm fine. Leave me alone. Yeah, you're fine. Just perfect. It's just this leg, that's all. <sighs> yeah, that's all. Don't take that tone with me, all right? You understand me? Where's my food? Seriously? Where do you think it is? I'm not kidding around, Jesse, okay? When I ask you a goddamn question, your job is to give me the answer. You got it? You said you got it? Yeah, I got you. Okay, good. Kill yourself one of these days, you know? Yep. Well, but sooner than later. Since when do you care? I don't know. I just, I just don't. Well, don't worry about me, all right? Because I ain't worth the worry. No one's worth the worry. Shit'll happen either way. So no sense in wasting your time on worry. Don't you think? I suppose. I suppose. Well, why don't you go on and suppose back in your room so I can eat my meal in fucking peace? Did you ever bother worrying about mom? I spent half my adult life worrying about your mother. Or copy. Sorry. 714, that's better than I thought. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. I'm glad someone thinks so. Ugh, I'm gonna go in. The water was great when I was here last weekend with Beth. Forget who you're talking to? Come on, you don't have to swim, just put your feet in. No thanks. Who's the wimp now? It's kind of a title I'm used to, so whatever. <laughs> well, hey, if it isn't our good friend Peterson. Girlfriend here too? It's Sarah, and she's not my girlfriend. It's because you're an idiot. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Oh, 
don't leave. It's only joking. Are you done yet? Almost. Do you want to just go? Only if you do. Yeah, it's bad enough I have to see these creeps during the week. Agreed. Hey, Jesse. Learn to swim yet? Ignore him. Just hurry up. How about a quick lesson? Hey. Let me go. Oh, my God. Oh. Leave him alone. Relax. Oh. Grab his leg. Oh. Grab his leg, Dan. Oh, Come on, stop it. It's just a bit of water. It's going to break my back, man. Leave him alone. Stop. Stop it. Stop! Stop it! You're drowning him! Come on! Come on! What the hell are you guys doing? Let him go! Get up, Jesse! Just some kind of freak Get or up. something. <laughs> some friend you got there, Sarah. We're playing out of the you son of a bitch. Oh, what, the, what the hell was that? You're right. About what? Waters. Kind of nice. I don't understand what I just saw. What do you think you just saw? I don't know. It looked a lot like you were letting yourself drown. I mean, why didn't you fight them? I don't know if to go sometime. Uh, what? It was comforting to think that finally he could go to jail for what he's been, how he's been treating me. Oh, my God. We cut the shit. You had me seriously scared here. You don't need to worry about it, okay? Seriously. But I'm, I can't. Sarah, just, just let it go. You know, I was gonna buy you a new shirt for your birthday. Looks like good timing. My birthday's more than a week out. <laughs> Not sure if you know this, but generally people buy birthday presents ahead of time. No, no, I don't want you spending your hard-earned Martin Twins babysitting money on me. <sighs> Will you cut it out? I'm not gonna be spending much money anyway because we're going to your favorite shop, La Boutique de la Thrift Store. Here's a nice one. And not only is it brand new and with a brand name, but it costs all of $4.99. Ding, ding, ding. You know I wouldn't be caught dead in a clothing brand that, number one, rapes people on prices, number two, advertises with, of all things, half-nude models, and three, it doesn't have a pocket. Oh my god, buddy, you are killing me with this pocket fetish. Why do you always have to wear shirts with pockets? Long story. <laughs> a long story about why you must wear shirts with pockets? I mean, how long could it possibly be, really? No one knows. And if they did, it would just cement my rep as a pussy. You're not a pussy. Whatever. Come on. Oh my God, is this, is this her? Is this your mom? I thought your dad trashed all the photos. You didn't know about this one. She was really pretty, Jesse. How'd you find it? The week before she killed herself, she came into my room one night, just like every other night, but she was different this time. You know, it's already past your bedtime. So let's get those PJs on, okay? Five more minutes? You said that 10 minutes ago. And it worked. Let's go.
Jesse. I want to tell you something serious, okay? If something ever happens to me, I want you to always remember how much I love you. I want you to keep this as a reminder of how I will always be here for you. Close to your heart. Okay? Get ready for bed, sweetie. By the next morning, I had already forgotten about the photo. It was only six, so. But when my dad went nuts, it was literally the only thing I could think about. Now you know. Why didn't you tell me all this before? I mean, now I feel like an ass for making fun of your shirts all the time. Well, don't you feel like you shouldn't have to defend everything you do in life to people, Sarah? But we're friends. Even to friends. Yeah, I guess, sometimes. That is perfect. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd find one. Yeah. You Thank go. you. Thank you. Hi there. Hey, hey my treat. Hi. Hi. Did you find everything okay? Yes. Good. <laughs> About Saturday. I thought we agreed we were done talking about that. Yeah, well, even the secret you were keeping about the photo, I just want you to be cool with telling me things. You know, don't be afraid to talk to me or tell me off if you need to. I mean, you're my friend, Jesse. My best friend. You know, I haven't seen you do homework in over two weeks. What's up? Just haven't been getting any. <laughs> Bullshit. No, I mean like, um, I just haven't been getting much, so I've been able to finish it in class. What? You're so full of shit. You always do your homework here. What, are you my mother now? Well, I guess somebody has to be. See you tomorrow. Hey, something seriously up, Jesse. You just said you talked to me for Christ's sake. I haven't been doing my homework. I'm not going to be around to see my next report card anyway. What do you mean? Are you moving? No. Oh my god. Are you running away? In a way, I guess. In a way, you guess? Okay. Look, Sarah, I need to go, okay? Checking out, Sarah. What the fuck are you talking about? Listen to me. I mentioned it. I mentioned it to you the other day at the pond. I made a promise to myself that after spending last break with my dad, I wouldn't spend a whole summer with him again. Well, then don't come with me to New York. I can't do that. I don't have any money. We'll pay for it. 
I, you, uh, I'll talk to my dad. You know how much he likes you, and plus it will be a hell of a lot more fun with you there anyway. You're not understanding, Sarah. It's not just about spending summer with my dad. I'm tired of getting pissed on every day of my life. Well, Jesse, that is just high school bullshit, okay? You know, once you graduate, things get better, I promise. You know, no more Chase, no, no more no. dad, you know, no more Sarah, that. I'm actually sorry that I said anything. It's like I said before. There are some things even friends shouldn't know. I didn't think this day would ever come. What? You, eating an entire meal. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead in less than two weeks. I don't wanna leave a scrawny corpse. Will you cut that bullshit out? It's not bullshit, Sarah. I've never been more serious in my life. And you were right, by the way, about telling your friends, talking to them. Since I confessed to you last night, I feel like the weight of the world's just been lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, and thrown onto mine. Thanks. Listen, you were the one pushing for all my innermost thoughts. And now you have them. You can't backtrack now and pick and choose which ones you want to hear. Yeah, well, I never dreamed I'd hear you utter anything as idiotic as suicide. See something you like? Oh. Did you know that nearly 5,000 teens commit suicide a year? Lindsay Stevens did a report on it last week in Health Funds. Jesus. Don't take it as some burden, Sarah. I'm actually almost happy now. Now I don't have to live with the awful feeling that I had trying to hide my plan from you. Whether you knew it or not, it was going to happen. Sarah. Don't tell anyone. If you tell anyone, I swear, I'm just gonna do it sooner. You're kidding me, right? You kill yourself, and you go to hell. You know that, right? What, <laughs> so now you're turning to religion? So what about your dad? This? I mean, he's probably gonna kill me tonight, but I figure that it's worth risking an early exit to have a full stomach for once. Hey, um, can you come to my house after school today? I guess. Great. I wanna show you something. You're such a thing for these plants. Helped my mom plant them the year before she died. She told me if you took real good care of them, they'll come back to us year after year. The only reason I'm still here is because I just want to see them bloom one more time. Should be ready to bloom in the next few days. Wonderful. What's that? Nothing. So, uh, what is it you wanted to show me? Like your dad could use a woman's touch around here. Yeah, more ways than one. What are your dad shows? I told you, the guy never comes home before last call. God forbid he ever have to interact with his son. Oh, great. Did you want me to hold your hand for the occasion? Relax, it's not about the gun. Oh, well, that's a relief. Do I really have to look at that? I thought you were the tough one. So, is that your plan? You know, just blow your head off and call it a life? That's the general idea. How can you be so goddamn nonchalant about this? I mean, isn't, isn't a gun a little bit messy? Can't you just use pills or something? I mean, Jesus, what the hell am I saying? No, no, pills are never a guarantee. Mess it up once and you're just another pathetic loser stuck in the loco ward sucking down happy pills the rest of your life. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. God, he kept a photo after all. <laughs> Man, look at 
look at your dad. Didn't even recognize him. They actually look happy. I know. How'd you find the key? So I'm gonna get the box in the middle of the night when I was getting a blanket in the closet. When he pulled the box out, I actually saw something I thought I'd never see. What? Pain. I knew he couldn't be such a heartless asshole if my mom fell in love with him. You know, what the hell happened to them? Why do you think she did it? I don't know. I tried to ask him a couple of years ago, and he's like, she's fucking crazy, that's why. I mean, if they were so unhappy, I don't know why they didn't just get a divorce like normal people do. Oh, yeah, my parents are perfectly happy after divorcing. So what else does he keep in here, do you know? That's it. Are you sure? I mean, it looks like there's another compartment. See, the bottom doesn't go deep enough. Open it. No way. Please. I don't think that's Sarah. a good idea. So, so is it a suicide note? Read it to me. No, I think maybe I should just put this just back. It doesn't it. seem right. What's wrong? Let me read it. Rick, I'm so sorry. Sorry that I'm leaving you with the burden of raising a child on your own. Sorry that I'm just not strong enough to go on while that kid exists. I know I should just move on, but God knows I've tried, but it's been six years and every time I see him, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being punched in the gut. What kind of mother does that make me when I can't even pick up my own son from school? I ask that you forgive me. I know it'll be incredibly difficult, but please do it for your sake and for Jesse's. I'll need you now more than ever. You may not believe it, but I really do love you. That's why this decision has been more agony than you could ever imagine. I hope that without my mental burdens, your life will become easier to bear. Be well. Love forever, Olivia. My fault. She's dead because of me. Jesse, that's crazy. It was nothing you did. She she probably had postpartum depression or something. For six years? It was nothing you did. She's dead because I was born. Hey, cut it out, Jesse. Did you ask to be born? No. Then it was nothing you did. Hey, where's my food? I ate it. You mean you ate it? Well, first I stuck my fork into a hot and juicy heap of spaghetti. Then I put it up to my lips, over the gums. And then I said, watch out, Tommy, here it comes. My food. My food! You understand me, you little shit? No, it wasn't your fucking food! It was my food! I'm sick of you stealing it, do you understand? You're done here. You understand me, you little shit? You're done here. You got two weeks to get your shit out of here! I'll be long gone before then, don't you worry. You think this is easy, don't you? You think this is easy? Well, you're in for a real rude awakening, because when it happens, don't expect to come running back here, because all the locks will be changed. Don't you worry about me, Dad. No one's worth worrying over, remember? It's like your fucking mother.
Get over your little death wish yet, Peterson? Fantastic, and you? You're a lucky son of a bitch, you know that? Why is that? Because you don't deserve the attention that Sarah's been giving you. I mean, I'd say I deserve it at least more than you do. You're not even worthy of handling my garbage, you worthless piece of shit! Mm. Did you hear me? Oh, it really pisses me off when you stare at me like that. Mm. What are you, some kind of faggot? Oh. I said don't touch me, fag! Jesus, Jesse, what the hell happened here? You tried groping me, Mr. Lewis. No, he didn't. I swear it. I told you he was queer. That's enough of that, Mr. Gibbons. Go to the principal's office. I'll meet you there after I take Jesse to the nurse. And don't you guys have class to get to? Dad, I swear I didn't touch him. I know. Hey, Dad, uh, you want the eggs? Who is it? Just me. It's open. Okay. How's your head? Lovely. And yours? I'm being serious. About as good as 13 stitches in your head can feel, I guess. Oh, 13. Yeah, it's my lucky number. <laughs> Well, uh, speaking of numbers. <clears throat> I want you to call this one. I am not calling suicide hotline. Call. I told you. I'm not calling. I said call, goddammit. I'm not leaving here until you do. If I make this call, will you stop bugging me about it? Yes. Swear. Yes, I swear. Okay. You swore, right? Hello? Hello, is this a suicide hotline? Excuse me? I said... Is this the suicide hotline? I'm sorry, but I think you have the wrong number. Oh my god. I can't get anything right. What happened? Wrong number. Oh, ow, my ow, stop. god. Ow, ow, stop. the cripple. Ow. Call that poor lady back right now. I don't know who I called. I just dialed the random number. Well, I don't know. Hit the redial button. We don't have one of those. That's a real relic. You know, we could bury this at a construction site. They could dig it up and they'd put it in a museum. I swear to God. How could you do that? You're being such a jerk. See, I don't deserve to live. This is such bullshit. You think you can just tell your best friend you're going to kill yourself and then sit back and make jokes about it? You're killing me, don't you get that? I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, seriously. But I'm really not worth getting this upset over. 
Can we just enjoy the last days we have together without all the drama? I've made up my mind. Nothing, literally nothing you say or do is going to change my mind. Oh my God, you're being such a selfish son of a bitch. Do you think that your death only affects you? Sarah. Of course I know it'll hurt. Yeah? Then how could you do this to me, Jesse? How? Sarah, look. May I help you? Mrs. Gibbons? Yes? Can I speak to Chase for a minute? May I ask who's calling? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm Sarah Morin. I go to school with Chase. Mm. Chase already has a girlfriend. Not sure if you're aware. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Um, mm. This is about a project we're working on. Right. Chase? Why? There's a girl here to see you. Who is it? I'm busy. Sarah something or other. Holy shit. I thought my hearing was going. I only know one Sarah. Hi, Chase. Do uh, you want to come in? Actually, no. I was just wondering if we could um, speak out here for a minute. You're not gonna hit me, are you? For what? For hitting your gay girlfriend today. I thought for sure one of us was gonna get suspended. Convince themselves it was all this big misunderstanding. What a joke. He's not gay, Chase. Has he ever tried kissing you? What does that have to do with anything? I knew it. He's gay. Stop saying that. I mean, even if he was, what difference would it make? Oh, you know, it's right. not like we live in the dark ages or something, you moron. All right. We live in the age of tolerance. Listen, I need your help. You just called me a moron, and now you need my help? Could you just be serious for like one minute, please? I think Jesse might be planning something stupid. He hasn't been himself lately. Seems like the same pathetic loser I've always known. Could you just lay off of him for a little while? I mean, and don't laugh, but it would be even better if maybe you guys could kind of make friends with him. Are you kidding me? Am I on some prank TV show? You hit your head today too? Chase, I'm totally serious. I don't know what you see in that kid, Sarah. He's a complete weirdo. He doesn't like to talk to anyone, except for you, of course. He's not a weirdo, he's just shy. And he has a tough home life. That's all. I mean, why do you hate him so much? <laughs> you really don't know? <laughs> Enlighten me. Because he stole you from me. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Don't laugh, Sarah. You may not remember it, but I do. We were best friends in grade school. Made you laugh every day. Till the day you started talking to Peterson. After that, I didn't even exist anymore. Yeah, because you were a complete jerk. Wrong. Well, I wasn't a jerk until you started ignoring me. Oh my God, Chase. We were what, six or seven years old? Go out with me, Sarah. What? Go out with me and I'll make sure Peterson is treated just like one of the guys. I can't go out with you. Can't or won't? Well, for one thing, as your mother so kindly reminded me, you already have a girlfriend. Who, Kate? She's just a temporary distraction. Oh. 
And that is why I would never, ever go out with you, Chase, because I would never, ever want to be described as someone's temporary distraction. I mean, I knew this was a big mistake. The only mistake you're making is leaving without saying yes to my offer. Green coming through. Bag it. I was wrong. But it can get worse. Uh, listen, I need you to do something for me. I know you probably don't want to talk about it, but... Promise me, you'll have me buried with this. You're right. I don't want to talk about Please, it. Please, come on, sir. Hey, what you got there, Peterson? And that, Sarah, is why I hate you. Give it back, asshole. Oh, oh. Must be pretty important. Well, Chase! Sorry about that. Fucking asshole. Oh my god! Oh my god. So, no comments whatsoever about my performance today? What? Oh, yeah. Pretty impressive. <sighs> That's it? Pretty impressive? Okay. I guess I always thought of myself as a tough one, so maybe I'm a little jealous. A little jealous because I beat up Chase and you didn't? It was a little weird seeing you go nuts on someone like that. I mean, if I knew it would only get me two weeks suspension, I would have done it years ago. Okay, maybe not. But I will tell you this. I felt fucking great. I poured years of abuse into every punch. I'm kind of disappointed I'm going to miss my last day of high school, though. In a weird way, I was actually kind of looking forward to it. I need to talk to you about something. Mm-hmm. But you have to promise not to laugh because I'm being completely serious. Yeah, okay. Promise me. Okay, I promise. What if I sleep with you? What? If I sleep with you, will you change your mind? I'll sleep with you right now if you promise me you won't kill yourself. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. You promised you wouldn't laugh. Yeah. But... Promise me. No, I can't. Why not? I would do it if I thought you loved me that way, but you don't. You said it like a million times that I'm like a brother to you. Well, maybe I was just joking, or, or maybe I haven't given the thought a real chance. Sarah, you do love me like a brother. You're just trying to convince yourself otherwise so you can save don't me. Don't tell me how I feel. I know how I feel. Maybe you just need to get laid to realize life is worth living. <laughs> Oh my God, will you listen to yourself like you know?
I love you more than anything in this world. Right. If you did, he wouldn't be doing this to me. I'm not doing this to you, Sarah. The thing is, I hate people. Every person I've ever met has this hidden agenda, and it disgusts me. Not everyone. Okay, not everyone. I'd have been around long enough to know that 98% of the population is fake. I'll bet a ton of people come to my funeral when most of them didn't give me the time of day. Sharks are a more respectable species. At least they don't hide their true instincts and intentions when they want something. So hang out with the other 2%. I mean, that's still a lot of people. I don't think I have the energy to seek those people out now while I'm young. Hell, I don't even think I belong to the 2%. You're the only person that I like talking to. The only one. If I don't go through with this, in another year, you're gonna be going off to college and you're gonna land a great job as a CEO or a drill sergeant. <laughs> and you'll go and marry some fun, outgoing guy I would be stuck right here. I would always keep in touch. I mean, we could talk every week, I promise. And how long do you think your future husband would put up with that? <laughs> I don't know why someone as great as you chose to hang out with someone like me, but I'm so grateful that you did. I just want to say goodbye on my own terms. I know that you might not understand it. But I'm asking you to accept it. I guess I should leave. This was a real dream come true, by the way. Thank you. So what do you want? You are sober enough to know what happened today, I hope. 
school call this afternoon. And? And what? I want to know what you're going to do about it. What do you want me to do? They've already been suspended. My son's face looks like hamburger. I don't quite think a school suspension is going to cut it, sweetie. Look here. Sweetie. For years, that kid has been bullying Jesse and I haven't said a goddamn thing. As far as I'm concerned, he got what he deserved. So you don't care that your own son got his face smashed in today? That's never been proven. Come on, Rick. Don't fool yourself. Chase looks more like you than that delinquent you're living with. And pregnancy math doesn't lie. Pregnancy math says get the fuck out of my house. Where is the little hoodlum anyway? I don't know. And I don't really care. You know, you ought to be a little more grateful. I never came after you for a dime. You want a piece of this? Don't bullshit me, Christine. If your husband ever knew that Chase was not his, you'd be committing economic suicide and you know it. Just keep your son away from Chase. Fine, no problem. You tell your son that if he ever comes near my son again, I will go over there and give him an ass whipping personally. It seems like I've been short a few of those. You know, I don't know what happened to you. You had the makings of a fine man once. I don't know why you let her death get to you the way you did. First there was the booze, then the accident. You should have just gotten your degree and moved on. It's not your fault she was unbalanced. I said get out. It was just a fling for crying out loud. It wasn't the fling, you stupid bitch. It was the pregnancy that she couldn't handle. You know, I guess honesty's not always the best policy. Although I suppose it was noble of you to try to... You're lucky that you're a woman. Or I pound your $30,000 fucking face. <coughs> Last warning. Get out! I see your son actually inherited insanity from both parents. So that's why you drink? Because what you did drove her to suicide? drink because every day I see your face I'm reminded of her your presence never lets me forget are you doing? You'll just have to plant more. This is the one good thing I was going to leave behind. The one good thing. You think this changes anything? This literally changes nothing. You said you wanted to wait for them to bloom one more time. I, you know, just give me until next year, Jesse, and I swear to God, I won't do anything for Jesse. Well, want another year. I was waiting to, until my birthday. They always bloom right before my birthday. Your birthday? Why would you do that? So my dad doesn't feel guilty about not getting me a gift for the 10th year in a row? <laughs> oh, yeah, because suicide will make him feel less guilty. That's crazy. This is fucking crazy. This is an attempt to save your pathetic life. Stop attempting and leave me be, for Christ's sake. What the fuck are you two doing? It's three in the morning. Nothing. Dad. Mr. Peterson? Here. Yeah. What is it? Sorry, Mr. Peterson. I'll catch you after school tomorrow, Jesse. You coming in or what? Girlfriend troubles? 
something like that. Hello? Oh, hi, Miss Shannon. What's up? Seriously? your bike. What are you doing here? I thought your suspension applied to all school grounds. I thought you said to meet you after school today. That was for your dad's benefit. Sarah, wait. Sarah. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry if I was being a big jerk and I'm sorry if I almost ruined your vacation. My vacation? How about my life? How do I know you're not lying? I got a call today from Miss Shannon, our teacher. Great call. Call about what? She told me that she sent in a couple of my works from class to uh, the head of the school at New York Art Institute. He showed it to the people in admissions that apparently, if I can put together a portfolio and send it in the same great quality, I could be a serious candidate for an art scholarship. Again, how do I know you're not lying? Just go in and ask her yourself if you don't believe me. It just seems like an awful sudden change of heart. That's all. Listen, if I can get out of this town and get away from my dad, I guess I, maybe there is something for me to look forward to. So promise me. What difference does it make? It makes a difference to me. I promise. <laughs> All right, you want to come over? Yeah. Can you get her going, please? Of course. My pleasure. Decent? Not sure if I'm decent, but I'm fully clothed, if that's what you mean. I didn't think I was going to make it in time. I thought you were supposed to be gone by now, and your mom does not look happy, by the way. Oh, shut up and just get my bathing suit from the bathroom, please. Yeah, fruit cake. Sarah, if I hey, let me get it. Way, I'm coming. I told you. Let me get it. Let me get it. Come on. You don't think I can carry my own suitcase? I'm just trying to be a gentleman. Fine. Oh, Come on, you God. take it. No. <laughs> I'm joking. It's about time. This is why Save I told the lecture, you. Save the lecture, mom. You don't want to miss your flight. You're a doll. Thank you, Jesse. More than my pleasure, Mrs. Morin. Oh, Jesse, just call me Phyllis, okay? Wait, so he gets to call you Phyllis? Well, now that you mention it, why don't you call me Mom too, Jesse? 
Mom, really? That's weird. Yeah, really. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, okay, what? Yeah, okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is just getting bizarre. Can we go now? Try not to molest Mickey too much, Mom. And take all the fun out of this trip? Oh, God. Bye. What are you doing? Saying bye to a friend before she goes on vacation. You're acting mushy. What do you mean? You promised, right? Yes, I promised. Okay. Good. Hey. I have this made for you. Come over here anytime you can't take your dad, okay? Thank you. Mr. Wonderful will not be happy either if you're late to New York, Sarah. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Hello. What took you so long? I was sleeping in, thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were an early riser. <laughs> I'm fine, Sarah. Having fun? You know, as much fun as a daughter can have being tethered to her father 24-7. Who is Mr. Wonderful, anyway? You know, actually, it's not that bad. Um, I'm glad I bought earplugs, though, because he still snores like crazy. Still takes a ton of sleeping pills, too. And this morning, we're going on a hike in Watkins Glen. So, uh, how's the portfolio coming? I'm getting there. Sarah! Yeah? No towels! Ugh, okay, hey, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure, later. Bye.
Please stop. I'm teaching you a lesson. Please. This is no fucking low even for you. Oh, it's not nice when people mess with this shit, is it? When did you find the key? What are you talking about? Oh, don't play stupid with me, okay? I never leave the photo on top of the gun. Please, I need to give those to someone, please. Yeah. Yeah. How else are you supposed to learn? How else are you supposed to learn? I don't think I've forgotten, all right? You got two weeks to get your shit out of here. I'm going to spend another fucking day with you. Do you want to put on pajamas? No, I'm good. Okay. What time is it? 9.40. Set your alarm for five, okay? Five? Dad, we're on vacation. <clears throat> Early bird gets to see the sunrise. But I just saw one about a week ago. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How did you know it was me? There's a reason why my dad never got a phone with caller ID. You're pretty much the only person who calls, and the only person who would ever call this late. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I just want to wish you a happy birthday tonight, because I just don't know what kind of cell service I'm going to have tomorrow. Jesse? Yeah. I'm here, yeah. Thank you. So... Do you have anything special planned for tomorrow? Jesse, what's wrong? He burned all my drawings. What? I'm sorry, Sarah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do this to me, Jesse Peterson. You promised. I can't talk about it anymore. Midnight comes and I'm done. Jesse? Did you know? That Chase is my half-brother. What? I keep it on the down low, though. It's kind of a big, small-town secret. Kind of makes sense, right? This whole time, it's just been a killer case of sibling rivalry. Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? Listen, I have to go. I love you. I always have. Goodbye. No, 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 wait. Wait, wait, Jesse. Jesse, God damn it! Jesse Peterson. Calling 
Jesse Peterson. Just please don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to me. Don't do this for your mom. Please don't do this. <laughs> I'm so mad at you right now. I can make it, I can make it. <sighs> I need you. scared, Jesse. You're gonna be okay? Come on, Jesse, come on for me. Just do this one thing for me. That's all I ask. I'll go to the lake at 6 a.m. every morning. Come on, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Help me out, Jesse. Stay alive for a little bit longer, and I'll help you. Come on. I'll help you. I can do it. Shit! What the hell was that? Not now, not now, not now. I'm by mile marker three. Yeah, please hurry. Okay, thank you. Now, and the crowd is loving it. It's the bottom of the eighth inning, and so far it's been a very tight game. Two outs with a runner on first base. Now the big guy comes up the bat, hitting 342. Joey's, how can I help you? Yeah, sure, hold on one second. He's right here. Rick, it's for you. Who is it? I don't know. It's some girl, man. Hello? Hi. Mr. Peterson, it's Sarah. Who? Sarah, your son's best friend? Look, whatever Jesse's done, I, I don't want to hear about it. Oh, my God. Can you act like a father for just once? I mean, Jesse needs you. He, he plans on killing himself. I don't know what kind of game you're trying to play, but I, This I isn't a game. He's planning on doing it tonight at midnight. He wouldn't have the balls to do something like that. Oh my God, that's exactly why he's doing it, because that's how you think of him. That ends the rally for the inning. Three hit. Mr. Peterson? Yeah? Well, what the hell are you waiting for? Go, run, do something! Ricky, you okay? Pete, is your car fixed yet? No, Pam's been giving me a ride into work. What happened? Rick. 
Rick, you need to settle up over here. Rick! an emergency. Take all the time you need, Rick. Thanks. Honey, I can wait in the car if you want to stay behind for a bit. No, I'm fine, Mom. We can go. Sarah? 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 You know what? I'll actually meet you in the car. I'll just be a minute. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I want to say that I know you're a good friend to Jesse. You shouldn't blame yourself for what happened to him. Blame myself? You knew that Jesse was planning on killing himself. Blame myself? You only gave me 20 minutes to 20 save minutes. him. 20 minutes? You had years. And if you had paid any attention to him, you would have known. Sorry. You have some nerve. Well, suddenly, sad as I'll ever be.
Jesse was right. I did move on with my life. It took about two years until I finally made it through a day without thinking about him. Though the hole he left in my heart grew a little bit smaller, it was always there. Oh, hi. I'm glad I caught you. I might not see you before I leave for spring break. You're not going to the calf? No, uh, Mike is taking me out to dinner before we leave. Lucky, and I'm stuck alone with Kathy, Joel, and the pasta primavera. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Good luck. Yeah, all right, have fun. I'll see you in a week. Sounds good. Bye. See ya. It's been nice hearing someone come down those stairs the past few days. Are you still looking for a new place? I think I finally found one. Really? Oh, shit! Mom, I never hear you swear. I forgot to tell you, someone from the high school called yesterday. They said someone left a package there for you because they weren't sure where you lived. Who? They didn't know. Just that it was some guy who said he wanted it to be a surprise. Okay. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll head over there before I get my hair cut. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye, honey. Sarah. Hi, Mrs. Johnson. You look great. How was the college experience treating you? Ah, uh, exhausting, but fun. <laughs> That's funny. Chase Gibbons was here earlier this week. He said the same thing. How is Chase, anyway? He looked great. He said he's marrying his high school sweetheart sometime next year. Who, Kate? Yeah, that's her. Temporary distraction. What's that? Oh, nothing. Um, so I'm so curious about this mysterious package you have here. Yeah, the gentleman didn't want to leave his name. He said it wouldn't be a surprise if he did. I don't know. Anyway, I was reluctant at first, but he was quite charming, so I figured what's the harm. And he looked kind of familiar, but I couldn't quite place him. Anyway, he wants you to open it here, and he left his phone number in case you didn't want it, so I could call him and you'd come back and pick it up. It's right over there. Okay. Mm, thanks. Okay. Dear Sarah, I apologize for the secrecy, but I figured you'd never come if you heard I was the one who left a package for you. If you're reading this, then I'm thrilled I've at least gotten this far. I know I'm the last person you'd ever want a letter from, but please consider me writing this on my knees, begging. I realize you probably detest me, and I realize this might not mean much to you, but I haven't had a drink since the day of Jesse's funeral. I finished getting my degree and became a social worker two years ago. I'm taking a chance inviting you to my wedding in hopes that you'll let me apologize in person for the man I was before. I lost my wife because of my selfish actions, and I was devastated. I should have learned then, but I didn't, and it cost me my son. And you, a best friend. You're my only real connection to Jesse, and I'm hoping I've done enough the past few years to put me in enough of a better light that you'd allow me to sit down with you one day to learn more about my son and the years that I missed out on truly being with him. I ask for your forgiveness and hope to see you next month. But I understand if I never hear from you again. If you can't bring yourself to come, may the rest of your life be blessed. Sincerely, Rick Peterson. Something good, I hope. Something great, actually. 
Thanks again, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> it was really nice to see you. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. It was hard for me to accept Rick's transformation. It just seemed too good to be true. But then I imagined, no, not imagined, prayed. I prayed that maybe, just maybe, part of Jesse's soul entered his father's body the day he died. <laughs> 